Oh, we almost tipped that trailer today. It was this close to going over, but uh, we were safe, but still we almost tipped our little crane trailer. Stick around and I'll show you how that happened. But first I'm gonna show you what we did today. Hey, I never did show you this probably, but heading north on this road, I grew up in the house right over there. It's back in the bush there a ways. My grandparents lived over there, but that property has been sold recently. Uh, well, when I say recently, in the last 15 years, I guess, 12 years, I'm not sure, somewhere around there. This is heading south. It's going downhill a little bit. That heads out to Highway 65 West in Northern Ontario, Canada. As you folks know, we're in a little place called Kennebec. It's called, it's spelled K-E-N-A-B-E-E-K. -E -E so my brother has built down there. Uh, that's not, that's my son's camper trailer, but he's built down there in his driveway on our little chunk of land. My oldest brother lives down just at the hill there. As far as you can see where the road turns, he's into the left in their ways. That's my oldest brother. He was born in 1950, him and his son live there. And then on the right, there's some new neighbors that bought there a while ago. And that was my grandparents' place as well. So, let me show you what we did here. Now, this little flower patch I want to move because I started these years ago when I lived in that house way back when, when I was in my 20s, I, I started building that place. Moved away uh, and then come back out and Heather and I built something new, but this was all brush and trees. If you go back on my channel from 2014, you will see all of that till now. That's how much we documented from about 2014 till now, cleaning this all up and building our little place. So yes, now we almost dumped that little crane trailer. That was very close. We started loading a bathtub bathtubs from the 60s 70s and i had it right loaded with copper wire and other stuff and the trailer was too light yeah so here's what i did here okay so i guess you folks probably know from before i collect vintage bicycles i used to i don't anymore so i have this little row of them here which got to be moved out back and i have a whole bunch more this is all, there's a whole bunch of tame roses in here which you will see blossoming. I planted these again when I lived in that house there. That is a cranberry bush, a high, high bush cranberry. Heather and I planted this spruce tree when you first come out here. It was only maybe a foot and a half, two feet tall when we planted this. That tree over there, that little white pine, I planted that when my oldest son was probably four years old, three years old, and he was born in 1989, so he'd be in his 30s now, 32 I believe, or close to it. So uh, there's some Japanese crab apple I brought from town I was going to use for in the smoker, but I never got around to it. So the driveway is looking like this now, folks. I want to remove a few branches off the bottom of that white spruce, but we got this pretty much all cleaned up aside from pulling some shrubs, some brush that was growing there. And uh, going through and there's little bits of styrofoam that was the skirting, it was around the basement of this house here. We got that pile in there cleaned up as well. So that is all gone to the dump. We sorted out the scrap steel. We put the good steel away, put the aluminum away, and we put the copper away. Now I wanna pull out that little brush there as well. So hopefully you can see what we've got done so far. I know it is hard to see. Does that make a difference? I believe it probably does. So around that tree is looking a lot better. Have to get up here, like I say, I can't do nothing to the old house until I build a garage, but I can clean some of this up once the odd jobs are done. I have a few odd jobs in here I gotta finish up. And I'm going to start cleaning this up. And then I'm gonna start doing my work out back around where that pole barn is. So that's how this is looking. I drug those cultivators. I, I mean, I drug the harrows around here for quite a while today when we're done cleaning this up. 
and I also pulled a drag around a little bit but it didn't really do that good because it's too much sod in here so it kind of just bounces we are going to get more gravel brought in and put on the driveway so far that is how it's looking this evening another full day of working at this again today but we're slowly getting it slowly being taken care of like I say this tree here I'm gonna remove this because I don't think it's anything that good anyways now that is the view up there now you can see right past the house can't do much of that old house other than clean up some stuff from outside there but the old house has to stay there for a little while until I get my garage built like I say Heather has worked in the garden today while I was doing this she helped me for a bit as well today actually she helped me all morning loading stuff up hey there's my shadow gun hi guys hey <laughs> we went at it and uh, we figured out a place and we planted this golden raspberry so that is our black raspberry canes there and that is a golden one she planted she worked at that garden uh, for quite a while this evening while I was doing that work up there she watered everything in here her corn and whatnot and very shortly I'm gonna get in there with her but I want to get a bunch of stuff taken care of I want to get in here and clean this up I built a wood gasifier to run the generator years ago uh, off wood smoke and it works good there's a screen door I was saving like I had like I said before I had a shed in there years ago I tore the shed down and that stuff was out behind the shed in like a little fenced in area I had a I had a trail there's a road in there on the far side but I never planned on building this far back but now that I did now that we did I had to go ahead and clean all that up but like I say there was a road there's a road in there on the far side of this large tree here that runs in and it runs all the way back just just uh, shy of the pole barn but uh, this was all brush and trees. If you go back 2014 when we started making videos, you'll see all this happening. Right from day one when we started clearing this with a JCB backhoe. And you'll see I had a little red John Deere. It was painted. My brother painted it. You'll see where I was in there pushing that bank up. You'll see that. Now I want to tackle along here too and get this cleaned up as well. But uh, that... That'll be sometime uh, this week coming, probably. I'll try to get all this done. And I'm going to get back at it. And I'm going to try to get this all cleaned up. And uh, continue on up at the shed and get those projects done. And then we can uh, clean up around that shed as well. And uh, I'll do my work back here. But, uh, yeah, some more gravel. Uh, get some flowers planted in here. Get those flags that we were sent all up on poles in here. Lots of stuff, but we work at it every day. We're steady every day. We don't take too much time off. We just keep going at it. Now, I want to get the drag in here. I want to clean all this up. And I still have those forms from when we built the basement. And I have all I have a lot of cribbing pile up there too, which I have to go through. And those are aluminum pop cans. Uh, people used to drop them off to us and uh, we also have some ourselves, so I am going to make a, a can crusher to squish those aluminum cans. So, I hooked the trailer up to the car. You folks probably remember I built that new hitch for it. And it handles this trailer perfectly. This is a 5x10 utility trailer I bought years ago, brand new. It's looking a little rusty now, I gotta clean it up, but anyways. That's how it sits. I hooked up the lights and everything and it works great. So there's another load ready to go to the dump. Then I wanna get in here and I wanna get rid of that steel that is right there. I wanna pick that up. But, uh, and then we wanna get back at that house. I wanna get at that and then we wanna get a bunch of pit run in here. I wanna clean, I wanna clean that up too. We wanna go at that. Get rid of that. That, that. I'm glad I got rid of that dozer. That big dozer, most large equipment goes through so much oil. I mean, it doesn't take much of a leak 
to lose a lot of oil with them and I'm glad I'm getting out of that big equipment I don't want any more I find I can do it may take me a little longer but I think it does a nicer job with little garden tractors and an ATV you don't end up with ruts like this from you get ruts all the time from a dozer or a large tractor because they're just so heavy where a little garden tractor or an ATV you don't get the same thing eventually I want to move these as well there's a little tiller there I built too I have no use for either but I may set it aside just in case that had an old uh, Briggs and Stratton three and a half or five horse engine on there and I put a five horse Honda on there and what a difference Anyways, I just figured I'd let you know what you're up to and uh, you stick around and you check out how we almost tipped our little crane trailer. Nobody got hurt and nobody would have got hurt. You know, I always tell Heather to stay back far enough that, that if it goes to tip, she's not under it. So, and she listens pretty good usually. So uh, anyways, you stick around and uh, uh, you let us know if we made another big improvement today on the place. I do a lot of homesteading here and a little bit of work, uh, fabrication stuff, but that is part of the homestead too. So, uh, is I'm about to use this little homemade crane of mine, and I'm going to try to pick up this bathtub full of uh, copper wire and stuff I've been collecting over the years. I have quite a bit of it, but we want to start cleaning this area up because, like I said before, this used to be my back 40. This was the backyard, and there used to be trees and stuff here before. I used to store some stuff here, but now that we've built way back there, this is our front yard now, so we are going to get out and clean this up now. So uh, let's see what we can do here with this little thing. Alrighty, there's a lot of weight here and this trailer, well, I don't have my outriggers built yet, but I will eventually, but we'll see what we can do here with this. I don't know if it'll lift it, I may have to drag it out first. But we're gonna see if I can drag this out even. I'm gonna step on this side. Yeah, we're we'll gonna see what we can do. We'll see if that'll pull it out now. I may have to step here to give it some counterbalance, but we'll see what we can do, okay? want it just to tip it. I'm going to get a chain and I'm going to try to sling that and pick it all up at once. See what I can do here. Not exactly sure what it can do. Hmm. Maybe I can run this under there. It's heavy. Let's see 
this does. Um, I'm just going to stick it in the chain like that. Hopefully it works. I don't know. It may try to tip it. I'm not sure. We're going to see. We'll lift it and see what it does, and then we'll, re we'll readjust that chain. Try to move that chain down here, perhaps, and move some weight more to that side. Well, that's undone, isn't it? Let's see, I think I got a lot of weight here, perhaps. I can throw on a bit of counter until I get it lifted up. Put some steel in there and see what happens. Heather, can you stand on that far corner, please? Right there, you got her, babe. You got it. Hold on, it might be a fun ride. Just lifting you. You're not heavy enough, are you? No. The two of us should be though, right? Yeah, who's gonna pull that in? Can you pull that over and I'll hold this? Okay. Please. You want me to pull the tub? Yes. Uh, pull it around as I lift it. It should come easy. Where's your gloves? I don't have them with me. Don't get under it. Don't get your knees under it, baby. It'll come easy. Okay, I'm gonna let it down and move that chain, okay? Uh, set something under it, babe. Set something under this end here. Something fairly large so I can slide that chain. There's a tire and a rim over here by that shed, babe. Over there, see? Wait, this one right here. Sure, that'll work. Just so I can reposition the chain, Heather. Yep. Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I could have had you hold the camera, I could have done it. It's okay. But I guess I can't really get off there because No, because you can't, yeah. <laughs> and see, outriggers wouldn't work right now anyways, because what's happening is it's trying to pick up the far corner. Okay, can you come and hold That's this? Good, or is that gonna That's good, change? I just want you to hold this, baby. Sorry. get off this what's gonna happen well how about Come stand right here right there <laughs> lean over <laughs> come a little closer here you're just not that heavy here that's what I was gonna say do you want me to go try and move it over with the now that it's up we'll give it a shot here Heather okay because I'm heavy enough I can hold it do not get under it okay 
Just grab it and pull it. You'll see it'll come easy. Try not to turn it, just grab it and pull it. Just grab it. Yeah, don't get your feet under there, okay? It'll come easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's okay, that's why I say don't get under it. That's fine, it's no big deal. It just, see, it got further out. Sorry. That's what not your you fault. Know? Okay. Um, well, come here. stand here. <laughs> come stand over here again. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. Okay, now, I want you to swing that towards me now. Just grab it and you will have to, oh. <laughs> okay, set that tire on here. Okay. Bring that tire over and set on it. <laughs> right on this corner, it'll be enough. It'll be enough. Okay, now try to get that, try to get that in closer. Swing it right around quickly, but don't get your feet under it like I tell you, okay? okay. Swing it back. As you come back, it'll be more solid. Don't get in between that and the trailer, okay? Mm -hmm. There, now you see? I'm gonna go up there. Now it's gonna be easy, right? See, now we're all set. Can you hold, come and hold this now? It won't go nowhere, babe. Not a big deal. Man. How are we, good there? Yep. There's a lot of weight on that, you know? That yeah. <laughs> I can eat more, Heather. <laughs> so do you. See, outriggers here wouldn't make a difference because it just picks up the far corner. Mm. The trailer's not heavy enough. That's what's going on right now. I am gonna put outriggers on, but that's not gonna solve our problem totally. Oh well. <laughs> that's just light. See when I take it out back, I can unload this. It doesn't have to be, I don't have to unload it all at once. So I can take some of that weight off there. But I know there's a lot of weight. Oh, there's all kinds, there's all copper in this too. This is all copper wire inside here. Well. That's all copper. I didn't all get copper. the end of it, but yeah. Oh, Sorry. That's okay. I'll show it slower. It's all tied up in here. Can we get this cleaned and filled? We might have pretty much a full, maybe three quarters of a 45 gallon drum once it's all cleaned, like stripped. We got a lot of it. That won't be happening today. <coughs> You're out of here. Aluminum. Boat props. I mean, uh, not boat prop, boat bottoms. Oh, there's a bunch, of, there's all kinds of copper in here too that's been cleaned too. Look at that. That's all copper. Oh yeah. There's little bits of copper pipe in here. This is all copper. So many short pieces of copper pipe. There's this. Those little pieces, those were the ones we were cutting up before, weren't they? Yeah. But we, then we never brought them. Yeah, we never did anything with it. Yeah. But that's all short pieces of copper pipe. We've got to do something with it now. It's all getting lost. Mm hmm. aluminum will grow back. Oh yeah, the 
so much copper pipe in here. Copper pipe, copper wire. I think right now it's $4 or $4.50 a pound or something like that for old copper. I wouldn't be surprised if we have about, I don't know, five, six hundred pounds of it, maybe. Maybe less. All I know is this one is cleaned up. Yeah, that's all copper. 